What if I were to tell you that Christ's crucifixion takes place inside the brain? Jesus Christ was crucified at a place just outside Jerusalem called Calvary. But what the word Calvary actually meant in the original biblical language was skull. In the human body there is a nerve known as the tree of life. It protrudes from the skull. It is this nerve, the vagus nerve, that crucifies, meaning refines or transforms, the sacred secretion or Christ oil into our pineal gland causing us to see God face to face and receive the true anointing of the Holy Spirit. Genesis 32.30 says, Jacob named the place Peniel, because he said, I saw God face to face and lived to tell the story. This is a biological and physiological description of the journey made by Christ, the Christ oil or sacred secretion, through the body, and some practical instructions on how to honour it, raise it, and exemplify it in order to be fully enlightened just as God intended. Christ was the living embodiment of God's perfection, and biblically we are told that Christ's Holy Spirit dwells inside all of us, but what you may not know is how astoundingly literal Christ is inside our physical body. Colossians 1, 26-29 says, This mystery has been kept in the dark for a long time, but now it's out in the open. God wanted everyone to know this rich and glorious secret inside and out, regardless of their background, regardless of their religious standing. The mystery, in a nutshell, is just this. Christ is in you, so therefore you can look forward to sharing in God's glory, it's that simple. That is the substance of our message. We preach Christ, warning people not to add to the message. We teach in a spirit of profound common sense so that we can bring each person to maturity. To be mature is to be basic. Christ, no more, no less. That's what I'm working so hard at day after day, year after year doing my best with the energy God so generously gives me. The Bible is clearly telling us of God's glory and energy living in our body. Let's apply God's word to the science. Number one, the claustrum. Inside the brain, there is a thin, irregular sheet of neurons that is attached to the underside of the neocortex in the center of the brain, known as the claustrum. The claustrum is the seat of all consciousness in the body. It is the physical body's supply of life energy from God or spirit. This life energy is referred to as many different things, esse, Latin, or to be, English, luminiferous ether, source, prana, etc. It is thought to be where the name Santa Claus originates from, because it brings life to the entire body. Two. The secretion, also known as the Christ oil, chrism or sacred secretion. As the orchestra of the brain, cerebrum, the claustrum signals the secretion of oil, cerebral spinal fluid, CSF, into the spine or central nervous system, CNS. The New Testament tells us in John about this internal Christ oil or sacred secretion. 1 John 2.27 says, As for you, the anointing oil which you received from him abides in you, and you have no need for anyone to teach you. But as his anointing teaches you about all things. Number 3. Colossians. Colossians 1.26-29 says, Know this glorious secret, from the word secrete, inside and out. Colossians 1.17 says, He is before all things, and in him all things hold together. This is interestingly referring to the cell adhesion molecule known as laminin, which, if you look at the pictures, it is literally the shape of a cross. The Bible is telling us to understand God inside and outside. This means understanding the physiology of the body and the holy oil or secretion. Number four, Christ. The word Christ or Christos in ancient Greek means anointed or smeared with oil and this Christ oil or sacred secretion is inside us, teaching us everything from the inside out. 
we must fully honour God in all our ways, as the Bible teaches, and then we will receive God's blessings like we have never known before. 1 John 2.27 again says, As for you, the anointing which you received from him abides in you, and you have no need for anyone to teach you, but as his anointing teaches you about all things, and is true, and is not a lie, and just as it has taught you, you abide in him. Number 5. The Milk and the Honey the biblical milk and honey are produced by the pineal gland and the pituitary gland. Numbers 14.8 says, If the Lord is pleased with us, then he will bring us into this land and give it to us, a land which flows with milk and honey. I believe it is important to note the if in if the Lord is pleased with us. That means we have to please the Lord by following Christ's teachings also meaning we need to preserve the Christ oil or sacred secretion if we want to truly know God and reap the benefits. I will explain about oil preservation a little later. Number 6. About the pineal gland. Biblically, the pineal gland is referred to as the place where Jacob met God. Genesis 32.30 says Jacob named the place pineal, because he said, I saw God face to face and lived to tell the story. Matthew 6.22 says, The light of the body is the eye. If therefore thine eye be single, pineal, thy whole body shall be full of light. The pineal gland produces golden melatonin, honey. It has more blood flow per cubic volume than any other organ. It is located in the centre of the brain, behind and above the pituitary gland. It is surrounded, or bathed, in cerebrospinal fluid, CSF. It is known for its male energy, Joseph. It is referred to as the yang, of yin and yang. It is known as the solar, not lunar. It is the dominant source of the body's melatonin. Number 7 about melatonin. It has a significant effect on mood. It affects the immune system. It affects circadian rhythms, quality and quantity of desired sleep. It is anti-aging and stress reducing because it suppresses cortisol, the disease feeding stress hormone. It is a powerful antioxidant. In the Bible it is called the living water John 7.38 says, streams of living water will flow within him. Number 8. About the pituitary gland. It produces oxytocin and vasopressin, which are white, milk. It activates the hypothalamus, which is known to aid the health and activation of the pineal gland. It is located above the senoid sinus, where CSF is secreted during high levels excitement and this sensation is linked to many spiritual experiences. It is known for its female energy, Mary. It is referred to as the yin of yin and yang, and it is known as the lunar, not solar. Number nine, about oxytocin and vasopressin. They heighten feelings of trust, peace, and empathy, godlike feelings. They reduce feelings of fear, anxiety, and aggression. Proverbs 19.11 says, The insight of a man certainly slows down his anger, and it is beauty on his part to overlook an offence. Number 10. The Solar Plexus The Christ oil or sacred secretion travels towards the sacrum via the solar plexus. The solar plexus is where the Christ seed is born. This is known biblically as Bethlehem, or House of Breads. The Christ oil or sacred secretion enters the solar plexus where it combines with the Holy Spirit or SE, source energy, luminiferous ether or prana, etc. And that is how the seed is produced or born. Number 11. Getting the Christ oil seed to the sacral pump without diminishing it. It is important to know that the Christ oil, seed, sacred secretion can be compromised, damaged and dissipated if we do not preserve it 
and this is not what we want. In order to raise the Christ oil, seed, sacred secretion, know God, and see his face at Peniel, we must love the Lord our God with all our hearts, souls, and minds, to paraphrase Matthew 22.37. This means living for God and following his laws. Number 12. Preserving the oil, God's laws, the basics. Number 1. Be healthy and not gluttonous. 1 Corinthians 6.20 tells us, For ye are brought with a price, therefore glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are God's. 2. Don't be lustful. Psalm 101.3 says, I will not look with approval on anything that is vile. I hate what faithless people do. I will have no part in it. 3. Do not be greedy. Proverbs 15.27 says, A greedy and grasping person destroys community. Those who refuse to exploit live and let live. Number 4. Don't be lazy. Ecclesiastes 10.18 says, Through sloth the roof sinks in, and through indolence the house leaks. Number 5. Don't be quick to anger. Proverbs 15.18 says, Hot tempers start fights. A cool, calm spirit keeps the peace. Number 6. Don't be jealous or selfish. James 3.16 says, For where envy and self-seeking exist, confusion and every evil thing are there. And lastly, stop being prideful and boasting. 2 Chronicles 26.16 His pride led to his downfall. Number 13. About the sacrum. The sacrum is a triangular bone in the lower back formed from fused vertebra and situated between the two hip bones of the pelvis. The English word sacrum was introduced as a technical term in anatomy in the mid-18th century as a shortening of the late Latin name or sacrum, sacred bone. It is where surgeons perform a lumbar puncture to extract samples of CSF. It is the location of the sacral pump. The sacral pump is a regular rhythmic motion between the occiput in the throat and the sacrum. It circulates CSF back up the spinal cord through the central nervous system and into the brain. The sacral pump is a key part of the circulatory system and its proper functioning is important for good physical, mental and emotional well-being. Number 15. 33 vertebrae. From the sacrum, the Christ oil or sacred secretion, ether, CSF and hormones, start its journey back up the spinal cord th through the 33 vertebrae. Let's look at the significance of the 33 vertebrae in the spinal cord. Jesus lived for 33 years. Jesus was crucified at 33 years of age. The divine name Elohim appears 33 times in the book of Genesis. There are 33 gods in the Vedic religion. 33 is a numerical representation of the star of David and also the numerical equivalent of Amen. An image of the Virgin Mary from the 18th century is known as Virgin of the 33 in Uruguay and it was consecrated by Pope John Paul II in 1988. There are 33 degrees in Freemasonry to achieve illumination and there are lots more. Just Google it to see. Number 16. The Solar Plexus Part 2 During the Christ oil or sacred secretions ascent up the spinal cord, the CSF goes back through the solar plexus. The solar plexus is a complex network of nerves located in the abdomen. It is emotionally linked with concerns over personal power, anger and distrust. It assists with the generation of metabolic energy and the pancreas. Daniel 2.32 says, The head of that statue was made of fine gold, its breasts and its arms of silver, its belly and its thighs of bronze. Note, the Christ oil is in the bronze or least value in the belly, solar plexus. Therefore it must be raised to become gold to the highest value. 
Next, the Christ oil or sacred secretion ascends to the vicinity of the heart, sternum or cardiac plexus. Proverbs 4.23 tells us, Above all else, guard your heart, for everything you do flows from it. Excessive production of the stress hormones cortisol and epinephrine can cause brain damage and problems in all other parts of the body. Therefore, it is scientifically paramount for mental and physical health to be peaceful, calm and forgiving, just as the Bible suggests. Note, the everything you do also counts towards following, knowing and loving Christ, which will preserve the Christ oil. The cardiac plexus is a plexus of nerves situated at the base of the heart that innervates the heart. The cardiac plexus is divided into a superficial part which lies in the concavity of the aortic arch and a deep part between the aortic arch and the trachea. It is emotionally linked with love. It assists the thymus gland. The thymus serves a vital role in the training and development of T lymphocytes or T cells, an extremely important type of white blood cell. 18. The Christ oil then rises to the throat, or more specifically the vagus nerve, also known as the pneumovagus and the pneumogastric nerve. Here the Christ oil is crucified and put to death, but if we resist our low desires or carnal urges for 2.5 days, the same amount of time that Jesus was in the tomb and the amount of time that the moon stays in each sun sign, then the oil will be refined, transmuted and resurrected on the third day. This is when enlightenment, illumination and increase will engulf your being like nothing you have ever experienced before. You will have vision, power and insight like you never knew possible. There is something on the other side of obedience that makes you say, why did I ever resist? 19. The vagus nerve continued. The vagus nerve is a network of nerves known as the tree of life. It descends from the pineal and pituitary glands. It is the tenth cranial nerve, CNX. It is the longest nerve of the autonomic involuntary nervous system in the human body. Romans 12.2 says, And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Note, fight every man-made temptation that exists while the Christ oil is being refined in the vagus nerve. Part 20. About the 2.5 days. It is the amount of time that Jesus was in the tomb before being resurrected or increased in power. Jesus' Holy Ghost went from being in one person's body to being in every person's body. It is the amount of time the moon spends in each sun sign. The first day is when the Christ oil secretes, and this happens 12 times a year. The optic thalamus is 2.5 centimetres across. Colossians 2.5 says, For though I am absent in the flesh, yet am I with you in the spirit, joying and beholding your order and the steadfastness of your faith in Christ. Number 21. The Resurrection. After 2.5 days, the oil ascends to the pons. The pons is beside the medulla oblongata. The pons is a major structure in the upper part of your brainstem. It is involved in the control of breathing, communication between different parts of the brain, and sensations such as hearing, taste and balance. Pons means bridge in Latin. The pons, or bridge, raises the preserved, refined and transmuted oil into the optic thalamus when new blood is produced, and dormant brain cells are reactivated or awakened in what is called illumination. 22. The significance of seven in the optic thalamus. There are seven stars in the optic thalamus, dimmed by the seven sins. Amos 5.8 says, 
seek him that maketh the seven stars and orion and turneth the shadow of death into morning and maketh the day dark with night that calleth for the waters of the sea and poureth them out upon the face of the earth the lord light of the world is his name yet people say that astrology is an evil from the devil how can this be true when the bible literally tells us to follow the stars genesis one fourteen says and let the stars be for signs elohim god is another word for seven there are seven planets matthew six five to thirteen says as above so below there are seven refractors of light there are seven original senses in the ancient texts seeing hearing tasting smelling feeling intuition and telepathy the solar plexus is the organ of intuition i e gut feeling the brain or thalamus is the organ of te- telepathy and matthew eighteen twenty two says seventy times seven means unlimited forgiveness and now for the really exciting part number twenty three enlightenment or the baptizing of the holy spirit the greeks called the thalamus the light of the world the word lord also means light of the world the thalamus has two hemispheres just like the earth matthew six five to thirteen once again says as above so below or on earth as it is in heaven the thalamus is the ark of the covenant see google images and be amazed when the christ oil reaches the optic thalamus you will have vision you will know what your purpose is you will know what matters you will feel incredible god's christ oil will give you enthusiasm motivation direction focus power intuition decisiveness imagination knowledge understanding peace love and healing the benefits are divine beyond measure